Greetings and welcome. My name is Benevolent Bodhi. This is Welcome to Tamriel. In this video, we discuss how you farm Overland, aka Zone Gear, in the Elder Scrolls Online. Gear is a quick way to improve your character's statistics. Sets unlock several bonuses when a character wears up to the maximum number of slots permitted by the set. Zone sets require 5 set items to unlock all of the set bonuses. There are two farming methods, kill stuff for loot or farm currencies. Different zone encounters provide different gear. The first encounters we're going to look at are delves, which are indicated by torches on your map. The easiest zone sets to farm are the waist and feet slots. These items are reliably found inside delves, which are designated for solo gameplay. Sometimes, these bosses will drop unique items, which are overland set items with special names instead of the generic names that you're used to. These rare drops may include jewelry or weapons. These rare drops are shown as yellow diamonds on the diagram. Next, we're going to look at insurgency events. Insurgency events occur in certain zones and appear as hurricane-like icons on the map. They are the most reliable place to farm jewelry. These events include dolmens in the base game areas, anomalies in Craiglorn, abyssal geysers in Somerset, Dragon Hunts in Elsewhere, and Harrow Storms in Greymoor. These events are designed for two or more players. DLC events are noticeably more challenging than base games. The next encounters we're going to look at are Public Dungeon Bosses. Public Dungeons are encounters that incur in areas that are not instanced. They are a reliable source of shoulders, hand, weapons, and unique gear items. These areas are designed for two or more players. The final encounter type we are going to look at are World Bosses. World Bosses appear as skulls and crossbones on the map. These bosses reliably drop head, chest, legs, weapons, and unique items. One of the more desirable unique items that drop on World Bosses are shields. These bosses often require two or more players in the base zones and the DLC bosses are often significantly harder. In addition to the special encounters, there are two other methods you can obtain Overland gear sets from. These two methods are killing zone mobs and looting them, or opening zone treasure chests. Zone mobs usually drop lesser quality slot items than previously mentioned encounter types. Note. In the base game zones, there's also a chance that these mobs will drop a rare provisioning recipe called Etheric Cipher. Treasure chests can provide any slot item. The higher the difficulty of the chest, the better the quality of the rewards. There are also two ways to increase the quality of chest rewards. One is to max out the Leger de Men skill line to 20. The other is to spend 75 points in the Shadow Tree to unlock the Treasure Hunter perk. If the gear grind's not your thing, there is an alternative. That alternative is to farm currencies. Overland gear is bind on equip. This allows players to buy and sell Overland set items for gold. If you need to raise gold to buy gear, I suggest unlocking crafting dailies, called writs, on multiple characters for a simple, reliable income source. If PvP, player versus player action, is what you like doing in ESO, then you also have another option. PvP players can buy regional boxes for 5,000 alliance points. Be warned, RNG applies. These regional zone vendors can be found in the following locations. All Dumeri Dominion players can find them in the Eastern Elsewhere Gate. Her name is Zenera. Tigerfall Covenant players can find their vendor, Zanul, at the Northern High Rock Gate. And Ebonheart Pack players can find their vendor, Lead Drod, at the Southern Morrowind Gate. Note, when I created this video, the vendors were mislabeled as Weaponsmiths. And there you have it, all the ways you can obtain Overland set gear in ESO. Thanks for watching! Didn't take notes? You can get them at my website at benevolentbody.ca. 
Did you like the video? Please smash the subscribe and like buttons. Have a question or suggestion? Please leave a comment below. Until next time, take care everybody.